guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Cart. I'm Ren and I haven't done a vlog in a few weeks. Um, we had quite a few things go on in the last few weeks, some of which I filmed. I worked on this piece in this past week, which is a really light-hearted piece um, called Start of Summer. Um, usually my large scale pieces are for display and sale. However, this particular piece being just a really light-hearted, nothing fancy piece, I think I'm just going to give away to a friend. So I worked on that quite loosely and not a lot, not a lot of time got spent on this piece. So in the last couple weeks or so, we had Jasmine's 20th birthday. Um, she's super hard to buy for nowadays, so we went out on a shopping day trip together. We got manicures and pedicures and she picked out a bunch of presents for herself because there was only a few things I could think of to buy her. And then we had a dinner for her with some close family and friends. And then on her actual birthday, she headed to a big gala with Max, which she loved. Jay and I also went um, on a rainforest river walk in the Otways, which was lovely. We didn't hike to a waterfall this time, but it was beautiful regardless. Absolutely loved getting out there. And um, I also filmed a quaint little nursery we went to. There's a little nursery at height in the way that we've got quite a few in the area, much bigger ones, but this one's just so nice. It's just, there's cats roaming around and it's just like a garden themed nursery where you feel like you're walking through a big garden. So I bought a couple of things and replanted some things, got out in the garden. I also had quite a few catch-ups and outings that I didn't film, but another thing that I did film were some spicy chicken burritos that I made on a weeknight dinner, which was absolutely delicious. So you'll see that later in the vlog. But first, the first layer on this painting was just basically laying in the sky, the tree line, the water, and the dry grasses in the background on the water. So as I said, Jazz and I went on a shopping day trip and I actually filmed a little bit of it, went shopping together, she picked out a bunch of things and um, we walked around for a few hours and it was just a really nice day out with her. Very cute. It'd be good for your fingers. No? I'm going to get 20. You enjoying your massage? <laughs> then we had the birthday dinner for her with just some close family and friends. It was nothing big, nothing major. Next year for her 21st will be the big party. So this was just a nice little get together with a few close family and friends.
ate it. to a big gala with Max. Um, well, it was for her work, it wasn't with Max that she was invited, but she invited Max to go with her. And um, she got all dolled up. I ended up doing her hair and she went and got her makeup professionally done. She had a gorgeous dress on, she was just so beautiful. And they had such a great time. It was just a really nice outing to actually enjoy on her birthday. So she enjoyed that thoroughly. But um, getting back to the painting, as I like to show you bit by bit, how it becomes what it becomes in the end. Um, the next layer was quite a quick layer, really. It was just laying in the groundwork, basic ground um, shapes and where everything will go as far as the trees, the silhouettes. Um, just map mapping it out, really. So the walk that Jay and I did was just outside Lawn again, down the Great Ocean Road. Um, we thought we'd do this St George River walk because we hadn't done it before and it wasn't a big hike as such, um, but it was a really, really nice walk. We just sort of, sort of spent a couple hours in the rainforest um, walking and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that, headed out and got some Japanese for lunch afterwards and it's a really nice day out. I hope we'll get to see the river though. Yes, this is a river crossing, so. Maybe that's where the sharp turn is. I don't know. I think this just follows the river all the way down to Lawn. This is a good reference for. Um, ten past. Bear's hidey hole. I love the sound of running water walking along. Oh, we've come to a bridge. 
A bridge. Yeah. Where's the troll? <laughs> oh wow, it's right over there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Then the third layer on this painting was a little bit more detailed. I added in the grass line in the foreground um, and detailed some grass on the actual ground where it's green. Um, I added the shadows from the trees, a little bit of shadowing to the actual trunks. So yeah, a little bit of detail in this next layer. haven't done a health update in a while. Um, with my Crohn's, I'm managing it quite well, well lately, even though I still have some extra intestinal manifestations and um, some symptoms of the Crohn's going on constantly. It's kind of non-stop being a chronic illness. Um, but yeah, been managing it quite well. Um, however, my last long stay in hospital when I had the bile leak and I had the two full open surgeries in a row, like four days apart, um, they couldn't get my heart rate down and it was quite a concern um, and I left the hospital and it was still around the hundreds and I haven't really been keeping an eye on it even though it's easy enough with my smartwatch um, but apparently it's been high this whole time so the past year since I left hospital now that I look back on my health info I had a look and I'm like oh okay that's no good so now I'm on this new medication, even though I really didn't want to add yet another tablet um, to the mix, but um, I'm on this new medication, which actually keeps my heart rate down. And that's actually really good because I don't feel as like on edge and um, sort of pent up half the time. So that's what's new in that area, but I'm still having immune suppressants for the Crohn's and um, just general health visits and, you know, visits to my specialist and my doctor. Um, but yeah, otherwise everything's fine. And um, getting back to this week's footage, um, another thing that I filmed was going to this heightened nursery that we absolutely love. It's just such a nice nursery. It's so quaint. It's like walking through a beautiful garden, um, so peaceful and such beautiful plants there, which of course I had to buy a couple. Um, but yeah, we had it there and then headed back home, got out in the garden, I replanted the plants. So yeah, that was nice. I'll probably look at the indoor flowers for ones that I actually want. Oh, I love these purple ones. We used to pack them at the nursery. There's bird baths literally around every corner.
like the idea of having these little flowers. It's Christmas already. Then getting back to the painting, the next layer was just foliage. I just added 10,000 leaves on the trees basically. That was pretty much it for the next layer. So for a weeknight dinner, um, I made some spicy chicken burritos one night and they went down an absolute treat. Um, you can make them spicy, you can make them mild, but just make them because they're so delicious. So for the chicken burritos, I'm going to put them in savlakis today for something different. I've just got one really large breast diced up and I'm making my own burrito seasoning, but you can just use a seasoning pack. This one's got a couple of teaspoons of flour, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of smoked paprika, about a teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of cumin, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper. And I just mix that up. But to start the sauce, we need, I'm only making enough for two today because it's just Jay and I eating. So it's just one small onion and one trussed tomato so it's nice and flavoursome, some chilli and some garlic. So we'll get the onion going and then add your tomato, garlic, chilli and then we'll go in with the chicken, brown it all off and add the seasoning. So in with the onion. Then once your onion softened, go in with the tomato, garlic and chilli. Saute that for about a half a minute. Then once that's softened up a bit, we'll go in with the chicken. And we want to saute that for a few minutes just to start browning the chicken. While we get some salad stuff ready. So into the wraps. Today I'm going to go in with a bit of lettuce, some capsicum, some red onion. Then I'll top it with the meat and then I'm going to add some sour cream, some pickled jalapenos and a bit of cheese and that'll be pretty much it. Give it a good stir every now and then. We want to get the chicken to about this state where it's pretty much cooked through and it's starting to brown a little bit. We want to go in with our seasoning mix. Plenty of salt. And some black pepper. Then you cook out the seasoning for a little bit. And then when it's nice and pasty, add half a cup of water. This is the consistency you're looking for. Go 
going to load up with my salads. And the chicken's ready to go. Wrap it up and enjoy. Yeah, they were really, really nice. And you can use pre-bought burrito seasoning, but if you make it yourself with the seasonings that I showed you in the video, it, it just tastes so authentic, so nice. Um, so I highly recommend you give it a try. But um, lastly on the painting, I basically added a bit more detail to the path, some light to the tree trunks, um, some light to the foliage on the trees, and a little bit of dry grasses in the front and that was all for this painting. super bouncy this one the whole painting has just been bouncing around on me yeah even in the canvas oh it is loose yeah like the other ones you feel like they're sort of yeah taut, they're you know? taut exactly yeah this one's like I how it's many... the first one of these ones i've bought but yeah. which one I was I've... this one i've got the thing of it just back there so which one where did you get it from though I don't know, but it's got the Sydney Opera House on it. See, on top of that pink lid there. Yep, reach in. Yep, that. Uh, it's the first one of those canvases that I've bought. But, um, fucking many have you got? Not many of that one. Oh, that's right. Not many of that type. What is it? It's a little more seven, but... Yeah, thanks. So that's all the footage that I filmed in the last couple weeks or so. Um, in the next few weeks, it's supposed to start warming up a lot more, which will be nice because there's a lot of nice things that I would like to be doing outdoors. So I was looking forward to being able to do those types of things in the next few weeks coming up. As far as painting, I had a really vibrant piece in mind for next week. Um, but I'm not sure, I'm, I'm sort of undecided as per usual um, as to whether I'll start that piece or not. We'll see what happens. Um, but that's it from me this week. Thank you so much for joining me on my art journey. And I hope you'll join me again next week for a new vlog and a new painting that I'll be working on. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you have a great week. And thanks again. Bye guys.